Pan, pan. Right, I'm probably gonna fine tune it a bit once I get up. What's up, everybody? How's everybody been? Getting cool here over in Boston. Cool weather's coming, windy and cold today. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, I just wanted to do a little. Uh, another drive time talk video for you guys. Um, I got a request from one of my co-workers. i uh, known him for a very long time. He's a good guy. He was one of the best installers we had here. Um, he's more of in a managerial role now. So he wanted me to... He asked if I could maybe put a video out and send a message to like the younger guys. The guys that are just getting out of school or coming into this trade this is sort of maybe a follow-up on my other video I did a few months ago about helpers and apprentices and things what we're seeing is a lot of these young guys you guys come out of school this video is going to be geared toward that um, you guys got to know that when you come out of school I'm, I'm just going to be blunt. I don't care what anyone tells you or what your teachers are telling you. You don't know nothing, okay? you got to put your time into this trade, and you got to learn. And it's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of pain in the ass. And you're going to have to bust your ass. And, it, and it's the way it is. you, you got guys coming out, um, especially now I'm hearing from my... My buddy here, you know, he does like interviews now and things like that. Um, you, you can't expect to come out of school and be making top dollar, okay? You, you like I said, you got to put your time in, guys. It, it's just you. You're gonna come out of school. You're gonna be making the minimum, and you're gonna be a gopher, all right? You're gonna be. You're gonna be getting some crap work. You're going to be working hard. You're going to be getting tools for guys. And the guys that know, guys with experience like myself and stuff, are going to, you got to pay attention and try to learn and pick up everything you can. Yes, school will give you the basics. They'll tell you a few things, you know, how a system works and this and that. But it's different in real life, okay? You, you, you've got to work. And you're not going to get paid top, top dollar, and I blame it on the schools, because I know what they tell people, they tell people that, oh yeah, you're going to be getting out, and you're going to be making 40 bucks an hour, it's like, no dude, you're not going to be making that until like, you've been in the trade for years, man, years, and you got to know stuff, and it all, so depends what aspect of the trade you're in, other, there's different phases, fields in this trade that are going to pay more than other aspects it's gonna go by what you know and what you can do and how good of a worker you are you know what I mean I mean I I don't know I know guys that have been in this trade 15 20 years and think they know stuff and they still don't know anything you know what I mean they just skate by make an excuse for everything you know oh we'll, we'll get someone else here or they write something up and it's not even the problem just to get out of the job you know, but like I said, I, j I just wanted to say for the young guys, you gotta, you gotta work, you gotta be willing to work, and you gotta do, do whatever you can do to learn this trade. Like I said, guys like me that have been in this and gone through it, we busted our asses, and we still do every day. It doesn't get any easier. It seems the way this trade goes: the more you know and the better you are, the harder the work gets. Don't get any easier. But just don't come out expecting the world, guys. You, you've got to learn. It's like any job. You're going to start at the bottom, and you're going to work your way up. Whether you're in school, out of school, you, you didn't even go to school. Like, I didn't go to school. You know what I mean? I was started out getting tools from my boss when he told me. But I paid attention, and I learned quick. Like I said, within six months to a year, I was already out on my own. 
doing service, piping jobs, everything, walk-ins and stuff. You got to just have a good work ethic, a good mechanical mind, and you will be fine. But don't come out into a job interview and be like, yeah, well, I want 40 bucks an hour. I want 35 an hour. I want 45 an hour. You, it, It's not going to happen, guys. It, it's just not. All right, you guys just got to take it easy. Do your job. Pay attention. Do it well, and you will be fine in this trade. But it's going to take years to build up to what a seasoned tech in this trade does and makes. I mean... Some of us, yeah, maybe we make it look easy. You know why we make it look easy? It's because we've got 20 years of trial and error. Getting pissed off, getting stuck on jobs all night, throwing tools, kicking compressors, everything. Believe me, I've been there, I've done it. It still happens. I still get stumped on jobs. Everybody does because the stuff is always changing. You will never know it all. I know I'm being repetitive, but I want to get it into everyone's head. That's how this trade is. I mean, you can still get stumped on... Sometimes I get stumped on something stupid. It's like the easiest thing, but I'm looking for something else because I think it's going to be, you know, a whole other thing. It happens to the best of us, and it will happen to you as well. But just... Just, you know, guys, just go in with a with an attitude that you're, you're willing to learn. You'll listen to the guys that are trying to teach you. And just try to make the best of it. But like I said, I won't lie, it's not going to be easy. This, this trade is not easy and it's not for everyone. I'll tell you right now, I've seen a lot of guys come and go in this business. Tons and tons over the years. I've seen some that can't even last six months. So if anyone ever tells you this is easy, it's not. But like I said, I just wanted to say that to you guys because I got a request to put that out there. So I appreciate it, guys, as always. I'm going to try to get back on a regular schedule here for everybody. And, you know, it's, it, it's been tough. I've had a rough few months. But um, other than that, guys, thank you again. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And catch your boys in the next one.